What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. We are that much closer to the weekend. Big college football weekend. I can't wait for the game tomorrow night. Oregon versus Washington State. I'm telling you right now, I am taking Oregon. I know they lost the first game by a field goal. The spread's almost double digits. I think it's like nine, nine and a half. Some books even got it at 10, but I am riding deep on Oregon. I think this is a blowout win. I think this is a very convincing win that's going to get them into the playoff picture. Just my take on it. And I also like Florida State on the money line and Texas game to go over. Just a little fun I'm gonna have because why not? Life's about having fun, folks. And if we don't have fun, we're not living life. In this video, we got a lot to go over. We're gonna talk about an XRP ledger update. Physical XRP now being traded. 1.47 billion dollars. 10,000 Bitcoin, no, not the price. One of the newest holders got 10,000 Bitcoin. XRP to Euro is now live on one of the biggest exchanges out there. And that plays a big piece, a big key factor in because where did Uphold told us that they were going? Over into Europe. Cross border payments. And then we're going to talk about the three candle formation and what that means for the price of XRP. And I think you're going to like what you're about to hear. So without further ado, let's jump into when Bitcoin's down 0.46%, coming in at 36900 and $65. Ethereum coming in at 2051 and it's down 0.18%. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP is holding the line. 60 cents. Remember, we need to close above 59 60 cents on the monthly candle close, which is coming in tonight. I would love to see a 63 cent XRP, even a 66 cent XRP would be beautiful. But it's going to take a lot to get up there before the close goes down. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $1,438,000,000,000. Now, in the first video, we talked about locks. Uh, this is your final one. I'm talking about it again because tomorrow's the payouts. Get your orders in now. These things are hot. We are the third largest project, folks, on the XRP ledger. We accept credit card. We accept XRP. We keep building and innovating with pack openings coming. We already have a mutation lab that is highly, highly used and very likable. You need to check out the freaking project. It's my project. I own it. I've been doing Lux Lines for about 15 months at this point now. I think 15 months. Sounds about right. It's been an insane ride, and we got some massive news in store that I cannot wait to share with you. Boy, oh boy. XRP Ledger's game-changing updates for NFTs. What does it mean? What is it doing? It says the XRP Ledger has enabled a new update for NFTs as the fixed NFT token amendment, amendment is now active on mainnet. This is the second amendment to be activated in days. The fixed reduced office version once we was activated over the weekend. The fixed token remit amendment added a new field to prevent reminting. This is done by altering the way the NFT secret numbers are generated to prevent the same NFT from being minted more than once with the same sequence of numbers, potentially resulting in a collision scenario. The update modifies the NFT sequence number construction to produce a new account root field. First NFT sequence, which remains consistent across time. When the account issues its initial NFT, this variable is set to current account sequence. Otherwise, nothing is set. Folks, NFTs are going to have their day once again. The NFT bull run is coming. We're going to have a crypto bull run. Then we're going to have an NFT bull run. Do not sleep on NFTs. Do not think they're dead because you know what? Over at Lux, we have proven time and time again, NFTs are nowhere near dead. Maybe just the project that you're in is dead and they're not doing anything besides printing new pictures each and every single month. You need a project that has utility, folks. Look no further. Physical XRP on Boris Frank. There you go. An ETC is live on Boris Frank for physical xrp another step towards mass adoption pro shares get this one bitto now has 1.47 billion in holdings as a flurry of bitcoin etf applications in the u.s seemingly spurs institutional interest in the asset i told you the institutions are coming and when we talk about institutions, we're not just talking about institutions in the U.S. We are talking worldwide institutional adoption. That is what is going to drive the cryptocurrency markets during this bull cycle. It's that simple. There's no fighting it. The cat's out the bag, folks. 
I mean, this is absolutely crazy. A Bitcoin futures funded offering in the U.S. hit a record high of $1.47 billion. We talked about in the first video of the day how high the crypto markets are going to go. My sweet spot's four to seven trillion. We just see a small, a tiny, and I'm talking about a 5% rotation of money out from the traditional markets into cryptocurrency as a leverage, as a hedge. We are can well, we can see up to a $17 trillion cryptocurrency market cap. Mysterious address. Ooh, I like mysteries. Added 10 thousand bitcoin to its bitmex wallet this came out today this is interesting it says bitmex is internally transferring its bitcoin holdings to a new wallet type according to the on-firm chain crypto quant a new wallet address that went from zero to holding over ten thousand bitcoin since the start of the number has been identified to belong to bitmex the rapid accumulation led leads to speculations it could be the new entity buying bitcoins, especially aimed a flurry of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. I'll tell you right now, it's not financial advice. This is a great, great gamble here. You want to know why? It's simple. If ETFs get approved, which I have a sneaky, sneaky suspicion that they will be, the price of Bitcoin is going to soar. Why? Well, it's simple. ETFs get get approved which is going to lead to institutional money coming into the markets, which is going to lead to the Bitcoin bull run that we know is coming. And you're going to take a gamble on Bitcoin, and it's only, at, what, 36000 We got a lot of projections. This thing's going over 100 three and a half x on your money. Who would say no to a 3.5x? No one would. No one would say no to a 2x. I like that gamble. We get this coming from Crypto.com, XRP is now trading live against Euro on this top exchange, which is known as Crypto.com. They announced yesterday the new Euro trading pair has been added to the Crypto.com exchange, XRP to Euro and Solana to Euro. Before this development, users on the exchange only had access to Bitcoin, Ethereum, Euro pairs. Now they got access to XRP to the Euro. I wonder why. Could it perhaps be the clarity that XRP got in the U.S. that these exchanges are finally open up and not fighting it? I think so. I showed you this in the first video. I had to show it to you again because this is the thing of beauty. 500 plus partners and growing for Ripple. This was the update as of last month. And you can see Bank of America splat on there right in the middle with Trangelo, Saab Bank, SBI, Remat, People, Simba, GMT, Flash. Folks, Ripple is growing like I've never seen a company grow before. Let me get this. On November 28th. Central bank digital currencies for cross-border payments. We're talking China, Hong Kong, Thailand, and UAE. We know about all of Ripple's connections. We know about MasterCard getting into China. We know, already know about the connection with Ripple and American Express into China that went down a couple of years ago. But listen to what's stated here, because this is going to segue us into our next video. I think there's a lot of, of, uh, of possible applications for CBDCs. Uh, but CBDC is, in its basic form, is a stable coin. So uh, is that the, the necessary medium of exchange? Can be. Uh, the, 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 the pilots that, uh, that the, the Chinese have led together with, with Hong Kong, Thailand, UAE, others will join with ECNY is using a CBDC for cross-border payment. It's, a, it's obviously, it's a different set of payment rails than, than those conventionally used today. It's not dollars, it's not SWIFT. Uh, it's, it's something new. Will it take off? It could be. I mean, if you have people who are buying and selling that, that want to go off over a different set of rails. It's it not dollars. It's not SWIFT, folks. It's something new. Let me get this clip. It's 26 minutes. Don't you worry. I'm not going to play for you. But what comes in here? Standard Charter, Circle, talking at the Singapore FinTech Festival. What have we just found about Circle and their stablecoin? Have we seen the XRP connections going into that stablecoin? Do I believe that Circle stablecoin, USDC, is going to replace USDT? It sure looks like it. It sure looks like it is being very well positioned to take over, folks. And that can finally get rid of all the fear of Tether imploding and taking down Bitcoin with it. The U.S. government is really taking control of the cryptocurrency markets. They now have control of Binance. We know they got control of Coinbase. Those are the two biggest ones in the world, the largest players. And Binance was filled with corruption and, and mistreating and inappropriate use and money laundering. And that has all gone away. The markets are really starting to get cleaned up. And Egrad Crypto chimes in. 
XRP3 Crandall formation, $10, or we go on the $50, folks. He says, but wait, the historical reference offered two potential scenarios. After a five-month consolidation phase, a staggering 1,500% surge has ensured. If history repeats itself, brace for a potential surge to a $10 XRP from its current price position starting April of next year. If we look at the other instant, which is a 12-month consolidation, We've seen an 8,000% price spike. Should history mirror this scenario, we're going to start November of next year, which is going to lead XRP to a target of $50. If we take the average of both targets, what are we looking at? A $30 XRP. What has Egrad Crypto been whispering and been telling everyone and what have I been covering on this channel? He talks about a $27 XRP. Here's his chart. You can see the moves in the previous on the left-hand side in, bl in blue. Three candles, three candles, looking at a 12-month move and a five-month move. If these get married, and it looks like the exact same formation is playing out, we're looking at a $10 to $50 XRP with that sweet spot being around $27. I told you my potential all-time blow off top for XRP this cycle sits around where? Who remembers? $24. That's pretty much in line with Ecrox saying 24, 27. Folks, I'm telling you right now, XRP is going to absolutely melt faces, and a lot of people are not ready for what's about to happen to XRP. A lot of people have been in this for too long. As soon as all time high hits, they are going to get fear. They are going to sell, but I will be sitting there and I will be standing on top of that hill when this thing is said and done. And I will have the last laugh with everyone that has been tuning into this YouTube show for the past two and a half years. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands, be nice, and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.